Hi beautiful Gemini's. Welcome back Gemini. Thank you for joining me here. Let's get straight to your messages. Gemini, what does Gemini need to see know or hear at this time, Spirit? And Gemini, thank you for all your generosity, all your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. It's deeply, deeply appreciated. Know that. Gemini energy, please and thank you. Whoa. Open up to your gifts, spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Recognize the signs from above. Angels are sending you messages, but you've been too distracted to notice. It says, trust in your divine purpose. This experience has divine meaning. It says, healing will come. Know that you're on a path of growth. Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. And trust the universe has a perfect plan for you. You need to be honest with yourself. Even the difficult ones have a message for you. Accept your truth and let your angels take it from there. So there's something you're not paying attention to, Gemini. There's something that you're not seeing. There's clues and signs that your guides and angels are sending to you. But it's saying you're being too distracted to see them. The need to be honest with your feelings. Even if they're hard ones, I have a message for you. It's all here. It's three or four cards in this short amount telling you to pay attention to the signs. Your angels are sending you messages. If other options seem closed, let them go. It could be about discovering things that you haven't experienced before. You need to clear the air. Something is clouding your judgment. It's telling you to get clarity and set things right. This one. Even if it's difficult. Gemini, what does this mean for Gemini? might be to do with family. Learning or people. There is a door being closed to you. So that another one can open. And it's telling you to be honest with yourself. Your feelings, even though they're difficult, have a message for you. It's telling you to accept your truth. This is about teaching or friends or colleagues. Okay.
There's a hidden path to discover. Overcoming obstacles. And it is about learning. Higher learning or education. It's about learning something. Learning the truth. Be honest with yourself. And learn from whatever this is. It could have to do with a love relationship. Someone may be distant, may be acting cold. Judgment is here. So somebody needs to see things clearly. Somebody needs to do what is right, even though it's difficult. It could be to do with travel. Can't travel or someone needs to release something. Something is a delusion. Is this an obsession? Because there's insecurity here. Planning a heartbreak. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Is this out of revenge? Somebody doing something out of revenge? Jeez. Someone planning uh, some kind of betrayal? Somebody, something to do with stealing a home or sneaking around. There's karma here. So somebody might be getting karma. I don't know, it's about the truth clearing the air. So something needs... It's about being honest with yourself. Be confident. So someone could be spying online. Someone might be regretting something. Sneaking around or cheating. judgment an illusion something is just an illusion something is an illusion something has just been an illusion and someone needs to be honest with themselves I don't know if it's you Gemini but it is your read take it as it resonates someone is like Something has been an illusion. Somebody needs to clear the air. Signs are being given. Your angels are giving you clues, giving you signs. But you're being distracted or someone is being distracted. from seeing the truth, the clues, the signs that Spirit's trying to give. Now, somebody may have, oh Jesus. This is somebody trying to save face or save their reputation or something like that. It's an illusion. It is an illusion. 
with the magician here. Be honest with yourself. Something, somebody needs to clear the air or get some kind of clarity because something is an illusion. Now, this could be an emperor who is being con... Okay. There is a high priestess here who is... something to do with travel somebody wanting revenge what the fuck is this waiting What the hell is this? Are we talking about... What the hell's going on here? is an obsession someone has got to clear the air here they're being distracted this is a distraction someone is creating a distraction Uh, I don't know if it's friends and colleagues that are creating a distraction. I don't know what this is, but someone needs to be honest with themselves. Somebody has been believing an illusion. It's a distraction. Somebody is trying to distract somebody from the truth. They, um... Somebody's got to be honest with themselves. If you can't be honest with yourself, who can you be honest with? Something is an illusion. Is it fear? Somebody just doesn't want to admit the truth or see the truth about a situation? Is this denial? Like... Something to do with the past? Somebody... Uh, what the fuck is this? Competition? Is this fighting? Arguing? Is this... um? Somebody walking away, learning something that somebody was jealous of somebody at work or jealous of s somebody is just sitting here, you know, I don't know. Somebody's conscience is bothering them about a soulmate connection or are they thinking that they want to go toward their soulmate but something is a distraction somebody is distracting someone into ending a connection and they got to take the leap of faith and make things right somebody's got to be honest with themselves and got to see that something is merely an illusion somebody has got to come to terms and be honest with themselves 
this I don't know if it's family someone being selfish here trying to hurt somebody else there is karma somebody should make things right apologize this is an opportunity but somebody is like somebody needs to get some clarity somebody is under a false impression or somebody's under a false impression about something they're getting all kinds of clues they're getting all kinds of signs but they're not listening they're being distracted distracted by hearsay distracted by gossip distracted by something else and somebody gotta clear the air here it's something that's been troubling someone somebody wanting to um, what the fuck is this somebody being uh very defensive, very defensive or something. Pushing someone away because they don't want to see the truth or they don't want to hear the truth or they don't want to be honest with themselves about something. It's like, it's saying all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let source take it from there. Once you learn to be honest with yourself and say what it is and do the right thing, then the angels will take over. Absolutely. But someone does not want to see the truth. They don't. So, there's nothing the angels can do until someone is being honest with themselves. And it's like, there's nothing that God can do or the angels can do or spirit can do without first the person who needs to see something, see something. Like somebody is like deluding themselves or is putting on a facade or is like, you know, not acknowledging something. They're like putting blinders on. They're not admitting the truth. They're not, they're in denial about something and they need to clear the air they need to see something clearly and be honest with themselves whether this is the masculine or the feminine or both Somebody is manipulative and somebody is def definitely got to be honest with themselves. And that's just, maybe they're putting on the show for friends or trying to pretend something for public reputation or something like that. But they're not being honest with themselves. And the only real way that spirit can assist is when there is complete truthful honesty within oneself 
So I don't know who needed to hear that, whether it's <clears throat> you or the person you're dealing with, but someone, you know, you can't change other people. If they're being <clears throat> dishonest, it's you that's got to make the change. I mean, they're not going to change. Somebody is deluding themselves about something and they need to be honest with themselves. The, like, how can your angels work? The angels cannot work for you if you cannot admit something to yourself. So, somebody's wondering why they're getting so many obstacles, why they're getting... It's because somebody's in denial. And Spirit's sending these things as signs, as clues, as reminders. It's for angelic protection. It's like trying to steer you in the right direction of where to go, but Spirit cannot take action unless somebody is completely 100% with themselves. Like... Spirit's not going to lead you down a path of illusion. We all have our truths. It's really clear that Spirit has been sending all kinds of clues and signs to somebody, but they refuse to see them, and there is absolutely nothing that the angels can do about that. Other than send clues and signs, the rest is up to, uh, up to the person, whoever this message is for. And somebody's in a state of denial and they need to see the truth. They need to take the rose-colored glasses off. So somebody... <laughs> That's the story. And then trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. So somebody is holding on to something that they want to be the truth, but it's not the truth. And it's only wasting time and energy and resources. And when there is something better for you, Somebody is staying out of fear. Uh, fear of someone discovering something or, you know. It, it's saying that <laughs> okay, take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. you think that's what it's saying so I'm not going into what your thoughts are or what this person's thoughts are but it's creating their reality Take care, beautiful Geminis.